How's it going, folks? We're going to stash here. Uh, we're going to be taking a look today at how to activate those hamstrings one at a time. The major thing when you're doing a single leg hamstring curl is you want to think about um, the alignment of your hips. So the rib cage and pelvis should be level here to here. And you're going to focus on pulling with that hamstring while keeping those hips extended. So check it out. So I'm going to start off here from a glute bridge position. So I'm lying here. Part one is going to be thinking about that rib cage coming down, that pelvis tucking forward, that back being completely flat. So once you engage all this and these things are turned on, then you'll raise your hips up. So this is your hips being fully extended. You're going to use these glutes here to help bring you up each time as you perform the curl. So right now I'm a straight line from my ear to my knees. I take a deep breath in, I brace, I'm going to slowly allow this leg to reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out. Then I'm going to drive the heel through the floor and I'm going to pull up, feeling that hamstring and butt cheek working. So again, I'm here, I'm coming down slowly, and then I'm gonna pull, come in here. Notice I'm not doing this, I'm not coming down, pulling my heel, then bringing my butt up. I come down as one piece, tailbone comes to the floor, just above the floor, and then pull up as one piece. If you start to feel this in your lower, in your lower back, that means that as you're coming out, you're letting your abs turn off and you're getting this rib cage up position. So you should totally think about or consistently think about the rib cage being pressed down the whole time. So down is one piece and up is one piece. Um, another piece that you want to think about is the position of those hips. So what I like to do is rib, thumbs on the rib cage, fingers on the pelvis. When I look on this line, I'm seeing if one is higher than the other. If you look from this angle here, well, I'm in a good position here. So from here, if you look at those hips and that pelvis, as I reach that leg out, it's gonna to want to dump like that. So I have to work to get this right hip to lift up, and I have to maintain that alignment as I come down and maintain that alignment as I come up. Now that may seem like a, a small detail, but it's a huge detail because that's showing your pelt, that's teaching your brain and your pelt, your brain how to control your oblique line, your outside, your glute max as you're in that single leg position, which is what we need for running, walking, everything. Everything is single leg, single leg, single leg. So you can really strengthen and focus in on weak points here from one side compared to the other and catch them up. Most often people's left side is less, is more underused than the right side. So we need to really usually do, I usually do a three to one ratio on the left side. So again, that left hamstring work in a bunch, the oblique to turn on, all that good stuff. So if you have any questions, get, let me know. Um, but again, this is a great way to balance out that hamstring activation, oblique activation, all in one. Enjoy.